Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Cup of Wrestling and this is a big one, the final match from Group... What group are we in? H? F? F. It's F, isn't it? The final match from Group F, Dominic Dijakovic versus Karl Gotch. The winner of this will qualify uh, to the knockout stages and face Kazuchika Okada and the loser will be eliminated. Well, when I say eliminate, I mean eliminated from the tournament, not, not life. It's not quite that deep. But either way. I the freaking way. Right. Yes, yeah, so uh, both of these guys won victory each. Both of them defeated Don Morocco, and both of them lost to Bret Hart, which is why they're both in this situation here. And like I said, the winner gets uh, Okada in the next round. The loser is eliminated from the World Cup of Wrestling. Not many group matches left now. We've got, of course, this one, and then we've got two matches tomorrow, um, which is... Uh, where are we? There we are. Um, Claudio Castagnoli versus King Constantine. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Oh, it is, yeah. Claudio Castagnoli versus King Constantine. Both of those guys have already been eliminated from the tournament anyway. And then we've got Cesar Bononi versus Khan. Um, both of those guys already qualified. It's just a case of who's going to finish top and who's going to finish second. And then on Thursday, we'll have Kofi Kingston up against El Fuego. Uh, I think Kofi is already qualified as well. Uh, yes, Kofi's already qualified. And then we'll have Aldo Montoya versus Ricky Dozan. And the winner of that will come second place. So yeah, it's an interesting set of matches coming up for you over the next few days to really decide those knockout stages. And then knockout stage-wise, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. No. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 matches left once we hit the knockouts. So we're more or less there then, aren't we? Gotch now in the back of Dijakovic in with a big German suplex. And now Dijakovic is stalking the grounded Morocco. Could this be enough? Goes in with that big Russian leg sweep and hooks in with a submission. Not quite what I expected, actually, from Dijakovic. I thought Gotch might try and go for more submission-based maneuvers. And Dijakovic might go for the more powerhouse moves, but there you go. Drop neck first. Carl Gotch now rolls through Dijakovic. Knees into the spine. Painful looking manoeuvre. Big double foot stomp right in the back of the arm as well. Big boots into the hand. Big stamps. Jawbreaker and now in, bashing the face into the knee of Dijakovic as well. Carl Gotch though has the arm and now looking to armbreaker over the shoulder. And now dropping the knee right on the inside of the arm. And you see Carl Gotch is definitely working that arm down. And now Dijakovic though has control, looking to turn Gotch over into that Boston Crab submission hold. But Carl Gotch able to use his legs to break free. Oh, 
Gotch now taking Dijakovic, slamming him spine first into the top and then thrown into the ring. This is a big one. This Remember, the winner of this will take on Kazuchika Okada in the knockout stage. There's the Russian leg sweep. And now there is the submission locked in by Carl Gotch. Will this be enough to secure the tap out victory? It is. Wow, Carl Gotch victorious. He gets the point. He moves on to the knockout stages and Dominic Dijakovic and Croatia are eliminated. Boom. All right, so I'm just uh, marking it down on the sheets now so we can keep up to date. So we've got victorious you and qualified you. Okay, so uh, Carl Gotch moves into the knockout stages to face off against Okada. And then over on the singles rankings, Mr. Gotch picks up a victory, which moves him up to a plus five in the rankings. Whereas Dijakovic... Picks up a loss, which moves him down to a minus five in the singles ranking. So there we go. Victory for Carl Gotch and for Belgium. They move through. Which is not what happened in real life. Belgium absolutely collapsed. Belgium were a calamity in this World Cup. They were so um, well thought of. They've got such a lot of talent. But the problem is, everyone seems to hate each other. They've all got a bit old now. And the whole thing collapsed. And basically, Belgium went home a lot earlier than people expected. Uh, but at least Carl Gotch is trying to rectify that for the people of Belgium. To the people of Belgium, the people of Croatia and everyone else out there, I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow then for the finale of Group G. Uh, again, Claudio Castagnoli versus King Constantine. That's Switzerland versus Serbia. And Cesar Bononi versus Khan as Brazil take on Cameroon. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. Bye.